Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, my name is Kia, I'm the CTO at uh, Session and Oxen. Today I'll be talking a little bit about unsend messages. So let's get into it. Uh, so one of the reasons someone might want to delete a message um, is if they, for example, believe that the recipient's device has been compromised. Um, so say it's a journalist and a source communicating, um, the, the source might believe, or the journalist might believe in this case, that the source is being compromised. Maybe they've been brought in by um, their, their company for questioning if they're a whistleblower, for example, and the journalist wants to delete uh, information off the source's device, they can send an unsend request. And as long as that reaches the, reaches the journalist's device and, um, or reaches the source device and that's online, then the message will be deleted from their client. So if the corporate organization says, open up your phone, show us your messages, well, there'll be no trace of that message um, actually being on the on the user's device. So yeah, that's one of the reasons. There's there's various other reasons as well, just for um, keeping confidentiality between between two conversation participants. If you know that um, you know one of the one of those devices might fall into the hands of the wrong people. Yeah, so the most useful thing about unsend messages is that you're deleting not only from the recipient's device, but you're also deleting from the service node swarm as well. So when you send a message in session, basically what's happening is you're working out the recipient's swarm, which is a group of service nodes. You're sending your message up, uh, up to that swarm or one of the nodes in the swarm, and then it's getting replicated amongst the nodes in that swarm. Then the recipient's asking the swarm, do they have any new messages? And they're grabbing it down and loading it into their local session client. So when you unsend a message, basically what you're doing is you're going to that swarm and saying, hey, can you please delete that message that I sent earlier um, from the swarm? And then they'll communicate that to each other and delete it. And you're also sending a new message um, to the recipient of that message to delete it off their client device as well. Um, so the end result is that the message is nowhere to be seen on your device, it's nowhere to be seen on the, client, uh, the recipient's device and nowhere to be seen on the swarm as well. So it's kind of like a complete wipe um, of a message. So there were two kind of major hurdles. The first one was we didn't really have a system for referencing uh, messages in, a, in someone else's conversation. Um, so when you're when you're trying to do an unsend request, you obviously need to know the identifier of the message in another person's client or conversation, so you can ask their client to delete it. So we didn't have a consistent um, system for doing that, so we had to add that in for unsend requests. And the other thing was also deletion from the storage server as well, um, which is run on every single service node, and and makes up a swarm. So we wanted a system to be able to ask a swarm to be able to delete a message and authenticate that the user was actually the one um, that uploaded that message in the first place as well. Um, the issue obviously being if, if we add deletion without authentication then you can delete other people's messages who aren't necessarily you or aren't necessarily sent from you. So we had to add that functionality as well. Um, and with those two functionalities we've been able to, to put in unsend messages as they are. Um, one of, actually, and this is kind of an interesting point, one of a, the unsend messages as they are only work on one-to-one -one, um, conversations and that's because we haven't been able to work out exactly how to do authentication for closed groups yet, um, but that's, a, that's something that we're actually working on um, currently and we, and we have a fair idea of, of how we want to do it. It's, it's basically just an implementation task now. <laughs> You, 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 can to a, you can only guarantee it to a certain degree. Um, if someone has modified their client, for example, has a session client that's not official and has just completely removed the code that allows you to unsend messages from another person's device, then we can't guarantee um, that it will be unsent. And that the same thing is basically the case on the storage server side as well. If someone is uh, running a modified version of the storage server that completely removes this unsend code, then we can't guarantee things. Um, but it's you have a pretty good um, understanding, I think, of you know the, the operators who are running service nodes. Um, from what we've seen, like are running the official software, um, I think there would be it would be pretty obvious um, when there was an update, for example, if they weren't 
running official software and for the client that you're communicating with you already have some sort of sense of trust with them anyway if you're revealing information that's sensitive um, so that kind of goes beyond the scope of, of what we can control as session developers <laughs> Yeah, so I talked about some of this earlier, but um, unsend messages or unsending messages for closed groups is something that we want to get around to and shouldn't be too hard. We're just trying to work out the logistics of authentication there um, because we don't necessarily have a or, or a session ID. We kind of have more of a group identifier for a session uh, for a session closed group. Um, we are also looking a lot at remote client side deletion as well. So being basically being able to um, delegate to a trusted party the ability to delete all of the messages off your device. Um, so that can be really useful um, if someone is, you know, captured by a despotic government and is being brought in for questioning and they have a friend that knows that, then the friend can send a message to their device and once, it, once it's received it just deletes all of the, um, the whole client database essentially. So you don't have any record of the conversations that were going on. Thanks guys for listening uh, to me talk about unsend messages today. It's rolled, acro it's rolled out across all platforms, so you should be able to use it on iOS, desktop, and Android now. Um, tell us how it's working for you and in which use cases um, you're finding it useful. We're available on Session, Twitter, um, so just hit us up. Thanks guys. <laughs>